Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Okay, so click on the Unity Hub and let's create a new project. I'm going to select the new Unity 2021 and I will use a 3D core, not URP, not HDRP, 3D core. Select the folder you want to save your project and I will give a name and I will call it Dark A RPG project and click on create project let it load or go make a cup of tea or coffee or go to the bar in the meantime I will pause the video and uh, start as soon as this is finished all right so once uh, the project is loaded let's clean it up a little bit and do some modifications to it so go to edit project settings and from here go to the player settings and I will change the default company name let's change it to something Rust Games and uh, here I will change the color space from gamma to linear most of the asset stored asset store uh, environment assets they, they use linear I don't know why the heck um, unity default always to gamma but anyways uh, let's go down I will change the script backend to IR to CPP and in the input manager uh, the active input handling is set to input manager all I will change it to both click apply and this will restart the editor the reason for that is if I want to use the new input system but I don't want to be um, restricted to not use the old one and I will tell you more about it in a bit okay so once it's loaded let's uh, close the project settings but I will go now to the project uh, manager package manager sorry it will list the packages installed in the project and I will start by deleting or removing the JetBrains editor I'm not using it I want to remove the Visual Studio code I don't use it I need to update Visual Studio editor this is the editor I'm using Okay, I will remove visual scripting. I'm not planning using visual scripting ever. I will remove the Unity's version control. I'm going to use uh, Git. okay so we are left with some dependencies for example test framework which depends on or uh, let's say Visual Studio depends on having test framework so we cannot remove it but I will now change to uh, unity registry and from here I'm going to add to the sprite because we are going to be working with a sprite and we need sprite editor okay 
I'm going to add Cinemachine. I know that uh, this version of Unity now come with this. Uh, let, let's wait. Compiling uh, a feature group with a preset of packages that you can select from. For example, um, 3D characters, which include uh, all these uh, four packages or uh, Cinema Studio, etc., etc. But I want to have control over what packages I really need in this case. So we were installing Cinemachine. Let's scroll down and select Input System and select Install. We are going to be prompt to restart the editor once again. Or not good so let's uh, continue and scroll down and I'm going to install polybrush Post processing. and Pro Builder. Again, this is my personal preference. So if you want to use another uh, package, just install it, it's up to you. So I will close now the package manager I will uh, click on the asset uh, folder and show in Explorer. And what I'm doing now is create a template out of this setup that I already have. So if I wanted to try another uh, another stuff, another uh, project, create another project or try other things, I would not have to go to this painful um, procedure of adding or removing packages. So what I'm going to do here is go to the root folder, click copy, control C, control V to copy. Once it's finished uh, copying the project, we can rename it and let's call it, for example, Unity 2021 LT template. open up the project and I will delete the Visual Studio solution, the VS config, temp, logs and I'm going to copy my bat file and put it in the root and then click on edit the file and it's just a command line uh, call to, to launch the, the hub editor with a specific Unity version 
and the project path so this is what we need to change here so let me copy the path and put it here in between the quotes and click on save the file and the reason for that is uh, when we open the hub the list of available projects is limited so if you are like me like like to open uh, several projects and check things and try uh, things uh, you will see that uh, the project that you were working like a month ago is not anymore available for example and um, having this bad file I just need to double click on it and as soon as the command line arguments are correct it will launch the editor right away so it's a time, save, time, time saver for me I just want to open this template just to change the name of the project to be synchronized with the, with the folder name. So from here I can go to the again to the player settings, scroll up and just change here the project name or product name to be Unity 2021 template something like that that's it I know that it contains already everything I like to use and if I wanted to create a new project for unity 2021 I just need to duplicate this folder and I start from it instead of having to create a new project from the hub and I start removing and added and adding uh, packages to it okay so I will now copy this project launcher and go up to my actual project that we were creating here and paste it here and of course we need to change the path click Save and there we go so we have already uh, the project set up with the uh, core packages so the next step is double click to open it and we are going to install Orc Framework alright so let's go to window package manager once again and in this case I will switch to my assets so once uh, you have your asset list here what I like to do is to have the asset store web page open search for the package there and click on the open unity button in the package itself so let me show you for example what I mean so we have here the org framework package I just click on open in unity and now it will search for it here which is faster than just start typing whatever name you can't remember from the package and there we go so let's click on import click on import again everything selected so what's imported we can close the package manager and the following uh, the first step guide into documentation we now have in the window menu we have game is love and then we have orc framework or machino whichever of those we click on it and it will show the editor and what I like to do here oh, is already yellow which is uh, nice to have so what we need to do following the first step is just save the first time save of this editor so let's click and confirm so it will save create all these assets for us
and uh, let's close the editor so here inside the gaming is love folder we have now this uh, stash data which contains all the settings or all this area configuration abilities uh, items etc etc so uh, the next step I want to add to this project or the next package is the Animancer package so I will go now to the window package manager and do the same thing so search in the web page for Animancer and click on open in unity from the web page and there we go so click on import we are going to create uh, let's say advanced probably uh, animation system for, to work with org framework so let's import everything normally I try to keep the demo uh, stuff outside of my project folder but in this case we'll leave, we're going to leave it to learn together okay so after that I will click here and don't show on a startup we have gaming is love and we have animancer plugin The next step uh, in the project setup is to build the user interface required for the new uh, Org Framework 3. So if we were to open the editor again, the Org Framework or Machino editor, and if we go to the UI, we need to set up here the UI system we are going to use. And if I were to click on Unity UI right away, we get this prompt changing the UI system replace any change multiple settings in different parts of the framework but we need to have a set of prefabs uh, to assign to each of uh, the elements of the UI that we are going to build so uh, let's do it later on not right now I'm going to choose uh, cancel save just in case and uh, let's wrap up the project set up here and see you on the next video.